All right, so today I want to share with you some modern Christmas in July DIYs. So Christmas is a little ways away, but you know, it's July, so why not have Christmas in July? All right, so for this first one, it is going to be a wreath. So I'm using macrame cord. I have a big spool of this and I'm just taking, you're gonna take enough for sections. So you're not gonna take enough to cover the whole reef at the same time because it would get all tangled up, but I take enough for a good amount of a section. I take three strands, knot them, and then braid them together. And then you're just going to hot glue it around the reef. So you're just gonna be wrapping it around and placing hot glue. Be careful with your fingers because I'm forever burning up mine, but you're just going to be wrapping it around, gluing it as needed in certain sections so that it stays on there nice and um, snug. And this is a nice little boho reef. So like you can see that section covered that. And then I did that a few more times till I covered the whole reef. When you in, you just tuck it in and then you'll tuck in the beginning of the new one and kind of just start new button it up all nice and tight together so that there are not a lot of gaps on the reef and the great thing about this reef is you can use this for different seasons it doesn't just have to be for a christmas reef all right i have these wood um signs and they have like believe and different things like that on it if you have a cricket you know you can make those type signs too on your cricket and then i have um these pieces and these are going to just be pieces that i have from um you know christmas decor i always keep these type things around too i don't know if you do but i'm just going to do this nice and simple oh and just so you know <laughs> these are not brand new diys these are just a collaboration of diys that i did have from before I will be doing some more Christmas in July with items from like summer decor and different things that they may have around right now but I just wanted to get started because I do love decorating for the Christmas season and you can see how this turned out and this is a great wreath because I feel like it could be fall or it could be Christmas you know but then I have this second wreath here and this one is going to be a um, little ring from the Dollar Tree so you get these wood um, they're not wood but you get these pieces from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to take these beads um not beads I, I don't know what's wrong with me today these berries like berry bushes from the Dollar Tree as well and I'm just going to cut off the top part there and just make kind of a, um a berry wreath so I'm just alternating between the colors so you can pick your colors you can do all one color you can paint this wreath underneath it a different color you can wrap it with some ribbon if you like you know it's so many different ways that you can do it to customize it to make it your own but um, I keep my decor just nice and simple because I like you know a clean modern look so I keep my decor nice and simple so all of these are going to be more of a modern Christmas decor you know take so you can add whatever spice you want to yours but this is to me so cute and simple something that you can just put on your door or you can just you know display like I did I displayed mine on a shelf and then I put that wreath there on um, the door so these are just you know something nice and simple and clean that you can just put out and it would go with so many spaces you can put more berries on yours if you want I just did that because it looks to me so cute from the front. Just so you know, that sign, I made that too with a cricket. Um, so I just cut those out. So you can make your own little sign to get a cricket. It's a great buy. All right, so now on to this. This is just gonna be um, kind of like the, the wood beads, the different type beads that you would get. And I just wanted mine a little chunky, but I did just find a chunky set at um, Marshall's for only $17. But I did these with the balls from the Dollar Tree. You're gonna wanna make sure that whatever balls you choose, they um, don't have too much texture. The flatter ones work better for this. Um, you can see when I'm done here, the golf ball looking like ones they still have the little pitting on them but you can use whichever texture you want but you just want to paint them give it a nice coat let them dry you have the hole in the middle because you're going to use that later and then I coated it with this stone spray paint and then you can see it gave it a little texture and then I went over it again because um, I wanted them all to be white 
So once I was done with that, then I took the twine from the Dollar Tree, looped it in, knotted it in between each one, and that was them. And then now on to this one. This one is, um, you can get now stockings at the Dollar Tree. So $1.25 now you can get stockings during the Christmas season. I, like I said, like a nice clean modern look. So I didn't want that color. So I just took off a little piece on top. And I'm just going to give it a little simple revamp. So I'm painting the snowflake piece in the middle and you'll still be able to see all the texture and I painted the plaid print on the top and then you can outline it if you want with some kind of detail. I use these beads from the Dollar Tree so I picked gold but you can outline it with whatever you want to or you can not outline it so you can choose you know however you want but a dollar 25 and then the extra um beads was like another dollar 25 but you get a big old set of those so for a couple of dollars you'll have your own custom christmas stocking and to me it gave it a nice little modern look can see I don't know if you can pick it up but you can still see the snowflake details and then the gold makes it pop a little bit and you can just see the difference between that one and this one so you can change up the Dollar Tree items to give them the look that you want while still saving money you know okay on to this one another simple one if you have um, Christmas balls that you have left over or you can just go out and get new ones. You can do this with different things. Um, but I use these Christmas ornaments that I did have because I was changing up my colors last year. And I just took them and took off the little metal part that's on the top. And I'm just going to glue them around this party hat. You can do this on a bigger scale. So if you got... Um, the I can't think of the name of the paper right now but you know the poster board paper and you can roll it up and have a bigger cone and you can do this on a bigger scale but I did this on a smaller scale with just the party hat to give me that tree top tree type shape and then I just glued the balls they have little gaps in them because you know they're not going to all meet up but that's fine because then you can add in little details into it I added in these little um balls here that were on a, another piece of Christmas decor and I just took them off and placed them around and you can fill in the gaps that way it's just like decorating a tree and then I had these cute little flowers and I went in and put those in in some of the bigger gaps and then it just gave me this one gave me kind of a glam look too If you're like me, you like those um, Christmas bells that they have, so they have different bells. So I just took these bowls from the Dollar Tree and they come in a set, so you'll be able to get a whole set. This one was, a, um, I played around with it until I got kind of the look I wanted. I started out with this glitter. I did not like the glitter. I got the glitter, I think, from the Dollar Tree, but it was like kind of um, hairish, you know, like it was long little skinny pieces so it wasn't really glittery so I didn't like um I didn't like that that much so I had first you know put that on with some Mod Podge and then I changed my mind because I didn't like the way the look was so I just poured I made this whole mixture up I poured the the glitter that was left into the Mod Podge mixed it with some paint and I was hoping that more of the glitter would come through and then I just you know painted the rest of the containers but the glitter didn't really come through too much you did have the texture but the paint kind of covered it up so I painted them inside and out and then I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to make them look like you know little bells so I'm taking them and gluing them together so you'll take it not too much glue because you know you don't want it to poke out of the sides of it and you could do these in different colors these would look nice in a black you know for a nice modern look but I did mine in white so that they would be, you know, fresh and clean looking. And then you just wait for that glue to dry. I'm trying to take off the excess glue there because remember, you don't want too much glue. And then I'm just going to kind of make them, they're looking like an ornament now because I, I took the ornament top. But it's like a mix between a bell and an ornament, you know. 
but I took one of the old ornament tops put that on there and you can also put these on your tree and then I'm just taking some twine from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to use that to hang them so I made several of these so that they were in like a little group like the little bells that you would get around the holiday time and you know you can put these as part of a wreath you can you can do so many things with these but I think these are cute and um simple and it's just something easy and something nice so like if you're like me and you like a nice little modern Christmas decor like you love the Christmas decor but you want a little modern take on it these might be good for you and then I made a little bow out of ribbon the best that I could because I am not a bow maker in the least but um, I made the best bow that I could make, and this is how they turned out. Now for this, this is another, it's a, a modern type glam type look. So you can do these. And this one I had the, um, the bigger poster board here. So like I said, you can make these cone shapes, um, you know, whichever size you want. You can use cardstock paper. You can use all kind of different things. But I used the big poster board from the Dollar Tree and I'm just gluing the end. And you can make it more secure too. I took and I put a piece of tape on after to just make it more secure to make sure it stayed together nice. And once you, you know, secure it all up or you let the glue dry or do whatever you want to do to make yours, then you just cut off the end there because you'll want it to be able to stand up. And these are quite sturdy too. So you want to use a good piece of paper, like a cardstock or a poster board or something like that. Like I used a party hat, different things, because you want them to be sturdy. You don't want to use, you can use a regular piece of paper, but it won't be as sturdy. So I'm just taking this as, you know, real simple, just taking a good amount of Mod Podge. You don't have to use too much. I'm doing this in sections and um, I just wanted a little light coverage. So I'm taking some crushed glass and I'm putting it on there. You can take, do this and then press the crushed glass in so you get, you know, more pieces on there and you can also layer this up. So once one layer dries, if you want it to be really, really covered, once one layer dries, then you would go into the empty spots with the Mod Podge again, and you would fill in those spots. You can also add a little bit of like silver glitter or something to this as well. And it would give you even more of a little sparkly look, which is so cute, you know, for around the holiday times. But I'm just filling this in. You can also, if you wanted to, paint this and do this ombre. It's so many variations that you can do on this. So you can, once it dried, you can probably hit it with a little bit of spray paint for the best and give it like a little ombre look but this is how it turned out and I thought it was super cute and something super simple now for this one this one is another simple one okay so I'm using the party hats again because they're my favorite and they already kind of have that shape but I just made it a little smaller so you can open up the party hats and adjust them to the size you want took and cut a piece of cardboard to fit on the bottom and just gluing it in because you'll need a base for this and then I'm taking these little wood stumps that I have I brought a set of those um I think I got them from Walmart I'm not 100% sure but um or Michaels I might have got them from Michaels but I'm taking um the little wood stump pieces and I'm just making a little Christmas tree so you have a little tree and in all honesty you can see when you look at these um you can just leave it like that because of the metallic hat so you can just make you a whole cute little set just like that but i'm going to be covering this with loop yarn so loop yarn is awesome i love it because it's you know nice and fluffy and you don't have to do a lot with it so i'm just taking and gluing the kind of flat side of the um, loop yarn and I'm just going to wrap it all the way around to the top and then you'll have you like a nice little fluffy Christmas tree and it's super simple super easy but it gives you that modern look because like I said it's nice it's clean it's simple and if you wanted to you can also go in and decorate this so you can put you know little beads little things to make it like a, a cute little Christmas tree.
now for another because um Christmas is not Christmas without the Christmas tree so I like to place a lot of little trees around the house so I do it in different um forms so I'm just showing you a bunch of different variations of little Christmas trees that you can make all right so this one I'm using those berry um bushes again from the Dollar Tree and you're just going to take a piece of cardstock and just wrap it into the cone just like you did with the other ones cut off the end so that it stands up nice and stable and then I'm just taking the berry bushes but I'm taking them in smaller sections than I did before because you don't want it to be too big and bulky and I'm just placing them around the tree and if you have little gaps on this one you could just break off even smaller pieces and fill it in and then there's that and that is giving me a nice modern look too this one I um, thought was so cute I got these Christmas um, Halloween legs at um, the Dollar Tree and I just thought they were so cute I didn't realize that they weren't that they didn't face different ways I didn't realize there wasn't a right leg and a left leg you know so I just turned one the other way but um this is something simple that you can do so they're getting ready for fall already at the Dollar Tree so you can um, probably find these legs really soon at a Dollar Tree near you so I just took some fabric just whatever fabric that you have this one has a little bit of stretch to it but it doesn't have to have stretch to it you just want it big enough to be able to stuff them so that it's not you know flat it has a little like a real looking little witch leg um or elf leg because this is witch for halloween but then for christmas it's kind of like to me it has that elf shape to it so i just took hot glue that closed and then tied off the top because you're not even going to see the top really and then made this out of um just cotton fabric for the bottom and i just brought one um cotton square um and just what do you call it quarter square sorry and made the feet for this so i folded it so that i'm cutting all four pieces at one time so one for the front one for the back on each foot so that's four pieces in total you're going to have a little bit of space around it so that you know you can close it up once you're done if you wanted to slip these on you would probably need a stretch fabric so that you can you know put them closed and then slip them on but you'll place it right around there and close it up while it's on there and then to me it's already taken that cute little elf shape or if you wanted a witch hanging out your tree whatever you want it but to me i'm hoping it's giving the elf vibe <laughs> with the um colors and then i just took a piece of ribbon that i had and cut that and tied at the top of what would be the little elf shoes just to you know close that part up and just give it an extra little detail and again i'm just playing with simple colors so i have the red black and white because um i don't really do too many colors at christmas time but you can do this as bright and as vibrant as you want and then i took these little bolt like bells that i got from the dollar tree as well and i'm just putting them on the tip of the foot because you know how sometimes elves have the little bells on their shoes which i think are so cute and then you just stuff it in your tree and you have elf flakes all right last tree i promise maybe it's the last tree i don't know but i have this um glitter cardstock type paper and um i just wanted to show you again how simple it is to make these little trees so if you don't have like say the party hats to with the with the um holographic type print you can use something cute like this with the glitter and then you just roll it and glue it the same way that you did the other one and then cut off the end let that dry and you'll have um cute little cone trees and then i did another one using the beads from the dollar tree so these two play with each other because that one has the gold i was going to originally um just have the second one one color but then after i looked at it i changed my mind decided to have it um kind of two colors kind of like a um antique type vintage look to it but they still all have that modern look to it which i said i love for christmas decor and i love that with christmas you can still play into your own home decor so if you have farmhouse if you have uh, modern if you have 
minimal like you know whatever your home decor is you can still do christmas and do it your own way you can play in nice neutrals but um if you wanted to too you can just use the same color beads or you can use the beads that are in your home decor and then leave it as is but um like i said i painted mine so you're just going to go around and just lap over each one till you get to the top take away all the little glue flyaways but you can see if you were using the colors that were in your home you can just leave that like that and have that but at first i painted it black and i was going to go with the gold and with the black but then after i did it i changed my mind and i um went in and i spray painted it so like i said after i um painted it i was like oh let me go in and i spray painted it with the gold but then I still wanted some of the black accents, so I just took and gave it a light brushing. And if you wanted less coverage of the um, black in this too, you can water down your paint just a little bit and just give it a brush over. You can do it with a different color, but this is a nice simple way. And you can do this again on a bigger scale. Okay, so this one, you know, Dollar Tree has the Christmas trees every year that they come out with. So this is a nice, um, simple one. You can fill this in to be a little bit fuller if you want with an extra Christmas tree. But I just left it kind of that, you know, Charlie Brown look. I wanted the stand to fit in the box. So if you can find, I made this box. But if you can find a box that fits the stand, this would be even easier. But I just put paper around it to help it stand up. And one of the Dollar Tree, um dust wipe things and i just put out the tree you know as much because they are scarce little trees so i like they give you that charlie brown christmas but that simple modern vibe you know and then i just decorated the tree so it's like around the tree <laughs> you know but still giving it that that scarce look but you can like i said you can fill in the tree with another tree you would just have to take it apart if you were doing it with the green tree you can get the garland from the dollar tree and fill it in with that but there are so many different ways that you can do this and it's just a cute little tabletop tree so say if you were doing um place settings or different things and you can just have these little trees set out it would just be so cute this one is a cute little simple sign again items from the dollar tree so we're going to just call this the dollar tree modern home decor diys um and then these little stickers that i have um i didn't have a lot of them but i had enough to spell out you know what i wanted to spell out and they are cute because they have the gold so i'm just trying to space out to see how much space i needed in between them but i'm just going to be you know christmas and the little gnomes the gnomes for valentine's day we love the little gnomes so i just wanted to make a gnome home christmas sign so i took the frame from the dollar tree and now they have um kind of bigger ones too which you can use or you can use something from michael's if you want a bigger sign but i use that and if the um you want to make sure the stickers stay secure you can just glue them down or if you have a cricket you can make um this with some type of vinyl so many different ways you can do this but i just freehand the little gnome i painted them and then i it just comes out so cute because he is the o in the home sign so you can do this you can do even a signage like this so if you wanted to do a long sign for your front door this would be something cute to do but it's just an idea um that you can use to make cute little christmas decor so this one is garland that i got from hobby lobby one of my favorite places and they have the little hoops on the end so you can connect them so that you know you don't have to twist it around and then i'm just fluffing it out and always too if you want your garland to be a little more fluffier you can take the individual um pieces that they have at hobby lobby or someplace and you can put in and make it just even fluffier if you want but i just left mine like it was and then i added on um little ornaments so the ones with the strings i wrapped the string around the ones without the string i just pushed the garland through the little hole on top 
and just secured everything nice. I did them in little groups, but you can do more. You can add ribbon. You can do so many things to make your garland, and it's, it's so easy to decorate with garland. It's just super awesome. You can add in whatever you want for extra embellishments, and like just garland is great. It gives your home like this great present. You can do it on your fireplace. I did mine around like an open opening in my living room, but you can do it in so many different places. And then you, I added in these little acorns that I had. Um, you can do so many different things, but this is it, and it's just super simple. Another simple one. If you don't have adobo, you should get adobo. I love my adobo. I decorate it different for every holiday, different seasons, and it's just something so simple. And it plays into the whole modern decor. It just fits in. And I've been seeing black adobos too. So if you're not into, you know, the wood look, but um, yeah, adobo is a great piece of decor that you can use so much throughout the year but i'm just taking some candles from the dollar tree and i'm just figuring out how to lift them up because i didn't have enough of the foam from the dollar tree so i'm just taking whatever i can find to kind of get them all on the same level because when you put them directly into the dough bowl it kind of sinks in and you don't see them from far away so this piece is something simple and it really can be used all year round. It's not even just for Christmas, but you can use this all year round. I filled mine with paper because I didn't want to have to fill the whole thing with um, the, the moss. So I'm just putting in a filler at the bottom. And then I'm just taking moss from the Dollar Tree, but you can also find moss, you know, at Home Goods, different um, home decor stores. But I just use the Dollar Tree moss. It's perfectly, it's worked perfectly fine for me all this time. And I'm just filling it around all of the candles. And like I said, because this is so simple, you can use this all year round. And that is the great thing with modern home decor that you can, it's, real usable all year round and then you can just add in different embellishments if you want i just put in a few of the little acorns so this is good for fall too so you can take this from fall into christmas you can add um you can leave it like this and have it out for fall and then if you wanted to add in a little more embellishments and have it for christmas but it's something super simple and super easy now for this one another simple one with garland decorating i have this um tray that i use on my table in the living room and i keep it out year round and i do it different like i do the dough bowl for each season and different holidays and again you're just going to do it just like you did the garland i just wrapped it around i didn't cut it or anything and i'm just putting the ornaments together in a little collection and i'm using the same simple colors as I used on the garland so you can see both of them you know when you're in the room or when you enter the room and it just gives it a nice little look I love this little tray they have these I just seen this too at Marshall's too if you're looking um, but it was in a different color but I love this tray because it is neutral and it just goes with so many different things but I just did the ornaments and then I'm just placing the little um, pine cones all over it and then I'm hitting it with some of the little faux snow um, you can do this before you do it but you know it comes off on you so that's why I did it after the fact and then I just wiped it off of some of the ornaments that um, I didn't want it on but you can do it beforehand but like I said when you're touching it it does sometimes come off in flake so I like to do it at the last possible minute if I can and then I'm just going to um I just played around with it there I didn't leave those on but you can make it even more festive by you know adding other little things but I just you know keep it nice and simple and then I just put back in some of the things that I usually keep in the tray which are like the coasters and um these cute little vases that I got from Target Dollar Spot All 
all right this one is another simple simple one i did another version of this which is going to be in our christmas in july um little series that we're going to be doing here but um i did this one i had a metal ring and this came in a set too and then i'm just taking dollar tree skewers but um i'm going to show you how you can do it if you don't have the metal ring to use but um taking that and you're just going to basically you have it's a lot of drying time with this because before you build the four little base you're not going to have anything to hold it on to so you're just going to have to hold it let it dry and fill it in as much or as little as you want you can also take and add things in the middle of here to like hang like little ornaments or different things but i just like mine clean and simple and modern so i just left mine like that i filled it in as much as i wanted and then i double spray painted it so we did a gold and then a black to give it kind of an ombre look This one is so simple and honestly, I leave it out all year, but it does give you a Christmas look, a nice little modern Christmas look. I took and took these branches from the tree outside. I risked my life to get them because they were high and I had to lean over my balcony. Um, but I took and got these branches and just spray painted them white, put them in a Dollar Tree vase with the little Dollar Tree stones. And it is so simple and clean. Now for this one, I got this from Target, um, from the Target dollar spot. I'm hoping they come back out with this again this year because I have uh, a few more ideas for this, but um, I just use this. And again, nice, simple, clean, modern. I took the Dollar Tree foam that they have and um, I didn't want the thing that I was putting in there to sit low on the bottom because then you wouldn't see it. So I just put that foam in there and then like a little bit of um, newspaper too, just to try to give it an even base because I was going to be painting it. And like I said, my colors are just black, white, gold, really. So I painted it black. I tried to paint that little rubber piece. Don't bother because when you put, when it pulls, it will, um, it will crack. So then I painted it and I did, I filled in, um, the inside with this little reindeer from the Dollar Tree. It's one of the um, Christmas ornaments that they did have, but you can put anything in it. You can get real niche with it and do like cute little toys. You can do so many things with it and think it's nice and simple. And then just some of the Dollar Tree glitter like stuff. It's not really glitter, but it's, um, or you can use snow. You can use so many different things. And then because I still saw the little rubbery piece because the paint didn't take on it, I wanted to, you know, kind of cover up that connection. So I took the Dollar Tree beads. You can leave these just the gold, but the gold didn't match with the reindeer. So I ended up painting it a black as well. So that was it. Let me know what you thought and I will see you in the next one.